second speaker, Professor Simon Strickland from the United Kingdom. Professor uh, Simon Strickland, Belat Sarkargo, Ek uh, Nizamati Karmachari Hununsa, Mahale Sanduhazar Ek Deki, Samik Rasta Sang Lagat, Sostaruma, Bibina Niti, Tata, uh, Ranaitik Mamilaru, Karupma, uh, Kamgar Nubaikotio, Rasan Duhazar Pondra Deki, Cambridge Estit, Began Tata Niti Kendraka, Prague, Karupmapani, Karirathununsa. Son Unaise Potasi Deki Duhazar Ek Sama, London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, Tata. University College London Kulagi, Samyukta Rupma, Man of Sasta, Tata Poster, Bigyan Sa, Pradepa Kurupma Pani Mahale, Anubha Batuli Saknu Bhai Kosa, San Unnaise Pachahatar Dekhi, Anthaun Nama, Cambridge Vishwavidyalaya Bata, Man of Sastra, Rasun San Duhazar Thirma, London School of Economics Bata, Antarashti Rodaniti, Tata Kutniti Zasta, Mahatopuna Visayarma, Siksha Hasil Gornu Bhai Kosa. Mahale, Nepalma, San Unnaise Unan Asi Dekhi, Ekasi, Raunai se saurashi dekin unai se ekana be bayana be gari burung harumas kam garnu bhai kosa adhyen anusandhan garnu bhai kosa tese gari unai se tirasi dekhi saurashi ma Malaysia ko saravakas ra san unai se antana be dekhi unan se ma Bharat ma kam garnu bhai kosa waha ko vidya baridi ko shod patra ko sirsaksa bishwas haru abhyas haru rakimba danti haru bane. Ajun Wahale, Pum Haruko, Samanajim, Zakri Badma Adharitsa, Son Unai Se Tirasima, Cambridge Bata, Yo Wako Prakasitsa. Samanism, Ara Onne Moki, Paramparako, Samskriti, Tatabhati, Saritra Rubare, Wahaka on Sundan, Antargot, Siklis Bat, Chetra Bata, Peta, Lutako, Utar, Tata, Ultagar de Kam Gornubaikosa. Eslai, Gurunko, P. Odhin Kalagi, Samagri Namak Grantha. Harvard Oriental String Kalaku Rupma, Dui Kondama, Son Duhazar, Otarama, Prakasit, Hoisekosa. Waha Ra Berunika Tufrele, Samukta Rupma, Rup Rakaria, Nepali, Himaloika, Tin Gurung Gam Haruma Poshan, Anukulan, Tata, Samajik, Osamantak, Bare, Ek Odden Namak, Pustak, Jun Alondanko, Smith Gordon, Prakasakli, Son Unaisi Santana Bema, Prakasit Gorisakosa, Jasma. Pradepok Dr. Ganesman Gurung, Raistan Uli Zas Chek Kopani Soyagrahekosa. Now I would like to welcome Professor Simon Strickland by giving the floor. Uh, Age, you have 20 minutes for your presentation, and I will indicate the time when three minutes is left, and finally, when one minute is left to wrap up your talk. Over to you, Age. Hello, Namaste, Tajibai, Tajibani, Tiribani Haru, Namaste. Na lentai Nepalarafini, Unais Panchanabe, Sa Sheriafini Lai. Tatazi, Nasasa Kaimu, Ani Tamuki Chenle Apo. Tara, Su Antarastria, Tamuguru Parisadi, Pinua, Ninto, Yoridishi, Na Nini Setoimu. Taranga Tamuki Pova, Mogi Pova Banda, Kiwa the Angreji Komu. So I'm going to speak about the Tamu Beda Luda. And if I can have the first slide, please. Next slide, please. Thank you. So I studied uh, with two very wise and very knowledgeable men in Sikhi style. Pajipadan Singh, Pajipadan Singh on the left side, and Jipodu Bhavadur, Bajir Kleori Bhavadur on the right hand side. And these two very kind, very knowledgeable, and very thoughtful men taught me almost everything I know about the Tamu Pedaluda or Pe. So I will say a little bit about the past as we interpret it from the Pe, which I recorded in 1980 and thereabouts. So the first thing I would say is the historical characteristics of the pay are very interesting indeed. There are characteristics of the history to do with 
migration, as we see in what you call MIFA, about the pattern of farming with animals moving up into the highlands in the summer and down into the lowlands in winter, for example, in the MIFA, uh, and the use of yaks, for example, as well as cows and sheep in the MIFA. The practices of slash and burn farming, of millet in particular, in Kuzimape, and of course hunting, hunting of deer, playing a very important role in all of the or any of the day, in the Kada, for example, and also in the Kodikorle uh, Maite. And then of course the salt trade, trade in salt for grain uh, and other goods across the mountains, Illustrated in the Kumbisene Misai Komodashlai Chatlai, and in some respects, of course, the consequences of these different patterns of economy or social inequality in the population, as we see in Boasene Provasai about the rich man and the poor man, and in other pe as well. In particular, Abi Kalapaurani, Ananala Nali, Abri Klela Klemai Pe, for example. These are two interesting Pe in relation to the characteristics of social inequality. There is also a biological balance. The interesting studies recently uh, by Jones uh, and Category uh, on Col Sombre. The site from Sikhans, you look southeastwards down the valley, um, have been um, found through archaeological studies to date perhaps to around 800 years or so ago, and perhaps longer. And Kosombe is a site to which there is reference in several days in the Pojukoro site. Uh, the other interesting, another interesting historical perspective is the name used for the population. So in none of the 16,000 shloka or so which I uh, was able to record with Adam Singh was uh, any reference to the name or the name Gurung. But the name Simon appeared in a number of places. Simon Age? Ding name. Professor Simon? Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Could you please uh, stop your video? Can and you then hear me? We can, we can, we can hear you more clearly. Okay, please, please proceed. Can you hear me more? Yes. Where did I get to, Anita? Yeah, yeah, yes, Simon Age, you can, you can move ahead. So, okay. So then, uh, the page show a number of interesting motifs. These are stories, if you like, uh, which we find in different forms across the region. For example, is a story about a man who wanted to marry a fish. So we'd have an animal bride. There are other stories like the uh, Karada, which are about a man who travels away from his wife and then returns with the help of an animal. And this is a story which we find in some ways in the story of the Aranyaka Parva in the Mahabharata, but also in Homeric epic in ancient Europe. And there are other motifs we find if we look at cultural material across the uh, regions of Asia and Europe. The other important characteristic of the Pe is the very special language, the language of Tonkui. It's a poetic language with a lot of very beautiful forms of words and relationship to music, drums, but also bells, and the singing 
style of being mature, cloudy, can sometimes <laughs> you Can I have the next slide, please? Thank you. So I want to play one from the Pedaluda. Sani Mulanengi Podore Madi Yugardi Pi Sadzak Raze Pimai Pe. And I've taken uh, eight lines, eight shloka, so to speak, from it. And uh, if, please, you could activate the sound on the slide. Babuile yeza kero bhavra pya bhrama ga ya bhrama ga maga Puile yeza lavri chola jume di haziya Mane yeza kero bhavra mi bhrama ga ya bhrama ga maga Mane yeza yivri chola jume di haziya Hapura minga jeze shara Okay, so thank you. Uh, I've given this example for two reasons. One is that it shows in the first three lines, four lines, uh, some characteristic repetition in the language. So you have and you have um, the use of the verb form yamaga uh, as a characteristic difference between the verb forms of the pe and the verb forms of the vernacular, which would normally be something like yadi or yai. And the second reason for showing this example is the difference in the speed if you like, uh, of recitation between the first four lines and the uh, second three lines. And that change in flow or change in speed is interesting. It reflects, if you like, the sudden emergence of the sun and the moon back, back in lighting uh, the earth. The sea, of course, is where a bird uh, went to retrieve, bring back the moon and sun, which have been, so to speak, killed. And when the sun and moon are brought back, the whole place is bathed in light. In this example, reflects that, that change, if you like, uh, in, the, uh, in the part of the story. Can I have the next slide, please? So then if we think about the as I recorded them in around 1980, there are some important characteristics to note. Uh, I think the first is the diversity. In other words, the fact that between different villages and between different Poju and Tleuri, there are differences in the uh, detail of the Pe and in the types of, or the properties of the language used in reporting them. A lot more could be done to record the diversity in Pe between different village traditions and between different groups of uh, Pojumai and Tleurimai. But having said that, there is also evidence for considerable reliability across performances. I recorded performances by Padan Singh, for example, around 12 months apart and found around 99% uh, of the detail of these performances was replicated, and that's an impressive degree of consistency. And also, I think, consistency in some of the central important acts of the Peraluda. I'm thinking of the Plawiwa, the Tawawa in the Puelava, and other elements in uh, ritual performance, which are very important to the life crises of uh, our people um, in these uh, villages. Another point I would make is the relevance of the content of pay to the places in which the population live and the geography of the area. And I'll say a bit more about that shortly. 
And next is the importance of references to specific members of families and the social context in which uh, the pay are recited. So the individual um, hosts or beneficiaries of a performance would be named usually in parts of the recitations that we're talking about. And a point that I've mentioned earlier about the enormous quantity of material, Padam Singh allowed me to record around 13,000 shlokas or 13,000 lines of Bedaluda. That is a very large quantity. And uh, for comparison, one might say it was around two thirds the length of the Iliad, just in terms of lines, although the nature of the lines would be very different between these two traditions. And another point though is the creativity uh, that one can find in uh, the performances of Pei. We've seen some of that perhaps in recently published work by our friend uh, Yarjung Tamu. Um, and I think there is clearly a dynamic to the uh, tradition of Pei, which is an important lively quality of this tradition. But then on the other hand, perhaps evidence of vulnerability where the practice of employing Poju or Tlerimai to do things um, is changing and where some expertise may be lost. Can I have the next slide, please? So in this slide, I wanted to illustrate um, places in the uh, area inhabited mainly by the Gurung population. As you can see, it's the southern slopes of the Annapurna and the Lamjung Himal. And what I've chosen uh, to use as my example is the narrative describing the journey made by Karabaren as he searches for wild honey with his nine sons. And this is the story from the Pe Karda. It's a very important Pe in the tradition. And uh, my understanding is that Karabaren can sometimes be understood to be Mahadeo. So it's a very important narrative. And the uh, red line you can see on this slide, starting with a yellow arrow, uh, shows the route taken by Karabare and his nine sons as they travel through the Gurung countryside, pointing out different places where wild honey can be found. And in each place, he says, here you can find uh, wild honey. Next slide, please. Where is Gorka? Gorka is to the east of that area. So in this slide, I've taken uh, five lines or seven lines, I think, from the Karda. And uh, you can see in the photographs, which I took in the valley between Siklis and Kilang villages, uh, the kind of wild honey collecting practice uh, that we're talking about in this pay. So could you please play the sound on this slide? So this uh, example also illustrates again the uh, special characteristics of Tsongkui. The use, for example, of a series of numbers, to describe a process, a process of, on the one hand, climbing down the ladder on the cliff to find honey, and to describe the process of cutting away at the honeycomb Sir, 
Move to next slide and wait for him. This okay. is the last slide. Hmm. Maybe the last. Room, move to the next slide, please. I think it's, it's last. Simon, again? Again, Hello, Professor Simon, can you hear us? Slide is stuck working. I was it. Professor Simon, what you were a slide bank if you room by do it. 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 I translation garde garno so I don't know if it's Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. You can start now. Here, Can you show the next slide? Next slide. Yeah, thank you. So uh, in this second map, next slide, please. In this second map, I wanted to show again from the Karada, the uh, places, they can, that's right, thank you, places to which Karabaran sends his nine sons after he's uh, come back to his wife. And he sends them on a route starting with the yellow arrow in Muktina, uh -huh. running down through Nyashang, Yazumdo, down the Masyangi Kola Valley, and then across through uh, Gurum country to the west, and then back to Siklis. And it's an interesting route because in each of the places he visits, he tells uh, one of the nine sons to go to stay with the Shinamuru or the Yamaraj of that locality. And when he gets to gets back to Siklis, he tells his youngest son to stay at the half place in the home. And then he says to his seven daughters to stay in the doorway of the home. A very interesting example of how uh, the area, places in the area used uh, to support the narrative of the story in this case. If I can go on to the next slide, please, which is my last slide. This is really looking to the future of the basis of the material I've summarized for you today. Um, of course, there is work being done to record, to transcribe, and to translate. Okay? And a lot of the work being done by the Tamupe Luzang 
has been very important in uh, establishing the evidence base on pay and ensuring that this very important material is maintained for the future. Uh, but of course, in practical terms, Ojumai, to a degree, compete with other sources of help in relation to health challenges, for example, in the community. And yet the traditions which we're talking about, the Pedaluda, are an important part of Tamil identity, an important part of Tamil heritage. And there is clearly more that we can do, not only to preserve uh, this uh, type of tradition, but also to understand it as a form of Zanadati, Bhasa, Dharmara, Sanskriti. So ladies and gentlemen, that uh, brings my presentation to a, a close. Uh, thank you very much indeed. It's an honor to be able to speak at this event. Thank you very much. Aleli Orsi, Gyasaji Simonagi. Thank you so much, Professor Stickland, for your insightful uh, deliberations. We believe Gurung community is grateful for your contribution for making Tamupi more accessible for the Gurungs and any interested researchers in general that would help understand and preserve Gurung language, religion, and culture. Now, let me switch to Nepali to share a summary of your presentation in short. Manav Sastri Harule, Kasari, Rakina, Manav Samajaru, Stan Bisis, Rasamoiko, and Tralma, Bividata, Ausha, Bane, Bane Bare, Busne, a luxury action. Professor Sticklandle, Sticklist, a Chetraka, Tamuharu, a Tamu Samazma, Sud Garda, Exoya, Sali Sota, Peta Luta, Wa Pe Haru, Patalagano Bayo, or T. Peka, a Slok, Haruko Sanka, a Tira Seza Tiroheko, Wale Botano Bayo, or a Jun Slokaru. Hamila Wale Udharan Sahit Sunaunu Bayo, Raja Hamro Purka Ruko, Bhai Saraiko, Josari Waru Hindu Bayo, to Batupani Wale, a map Made Kano Bayo, Waka Anusar, Pe Nikai, Prachin Prakriti Kab Haikar, Nikai Bivit Kale Hudepani, Lamo Samai Deki, Niranta Rukma, Uhi Prakriya Roheko, Dekincha. Wale, Babisima, Gurunka, Pe Kabarema, Adhen on Santan Kalagi, T. Peta and Lutaru, Record Gorieko, T. Savailai, Utar Tata Anubad Goriekosa, Jun Afima Mahonola, Gurung Sampadako, Motopun Amsaho. Amola is spotlight Malayan by Untu, Pravidic Satiru. Espata Hami, a key Buzna Saxovane, Wahako, Yo, the Stabis. Tamu Gurung Bhasa Dharma ra Samskriti bare bujna ra samrakshan garna ka lagi ati mahatvapurna ra upayogi samagri hune cha. Thank you so much Professor Stickland once again for your valuable contribution to the Tamu community and giving your valuable time for this international Tamu dialogue. We can imagine that how much are you dedicated and passionate towards our Tamu community. Thank you once again.